Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our end-to-end -end automation testing with Cypress course. And in this video, we are going to talk about the cross-browser testing with Cypress. So cross-browser testing, it's finally there. The highly anticipated support for Firefox and the new Microsoft Edge browser in Cypress 4.0 is added. And this capability is added in such a way that it can run Cypress test in Firefox, Microsoft Edge Chrome browser in any editions that you are looking for. So Cypress 4.0 marks a significant milestone in the development of Cypress and sets a stage for an exciting pipeline of capabilities that will continue to elevate the testing experience for everyone. And again, I just copied this text from the Cypress website from the release page and it's really worth it because I don't really want to replicate the different wordings for this. I could see that Cypress 4.0 is one of the most significant milestone for the Cypress itself. Because we have been talking about Cypress inability for the cross browser testing, except that it only supports the Chrome as well as the Electron browser, which was kind of pain because people were thinking that they cannot do any cross browser testing support all these days. But right now they can do the cross browser testing as well. Recently, like a couple of days before I spoke about Cypress in the Cypress workshop, and I could see that people were kind of getting frustrated without the support of cross-browser testing. But right now, this feature is going to add the ability to run the test not just in one browser, which is Chrome or Electron. Rather, we can now run our test in Firefox, any editions like Developer Edition, the Nightly Build, or the full version of Firefox. Or we can also run the test on Edge browser with different editions as well. Similarly. So... Running the test with different browsers in Cypress is way too easier than how you do with the Electron or the Chrome browser earlier. If you're going to run the test in the Cypress dashboard, it's going to look something like this. As you can see, there is this Chrome and Edge displayed over here. You can see there is the Edge different versions uh, like Edge Dev 81 and there is Edge 79, which is the full version. And similarly, you can see Electron and the Chromium. But you can see that I don't really see the Firefox for some reason in the Windows machine that I have right now. I'm not very sure about it. Maybe this is a new edition or maybe I still have to do some sort of configuration for making the Firefox to be available. But if I do the same thing in Mac operating system, I can see Firefox browser, but not the Edge browser, which is kind of crazy. But I could see that the support is already there in Cypress and I could be able to run the test on these different browser. But for some reason, maybe my configuration is wrong or maybe we should wait for some more time for the Cypress to be solidifying why the browser is not displayed in all the different machines. Cross my finger, it will surely support all the browsers. And in order to run that different browsers in different scripting versions, you can do something like this. So you can just do sci colon run colon chrome to run the chrome browser. And similarly for the Firefox browser, you can specify something like this. So basically the sci colon run colon Firefox is more like a tag to initiate the actual command that you have written on the right hand side. And then if you want to run the browser just from the command line, like one browser, you can do something like this. And this is the one that we have been talking about in this course and yes this is how you can actually run the browser like edge browser much much simply so instead of more theory let's get started and action and understand how things work and see how cypress runs the test in cross browser platforms all right so let's get started all right so this is the udemy cypress project that we have been talking all these day in this course and you can see that we have the cross browser support being added for the cypress 4.0 and you can see that we are currently using the Cypress 3.8.3 in here. But the latest version is 4.0. So if I just uh, just remove this guy and put a double quotes and hit control space, you can see that Microsoft Visual Studio Code is fetching the latest version of package, which is 4.0. So I can just use this and save it. And you know, we can do an NPM update for doing that. So I can just do an NPM update, which will update the Cypress to the latest version, which is nothing but from 3.8.8 .8 to 4.0 all the way, right? So it is updated right now. And now if I go back to my uh, node modules, and if I go all the way to the Cypress, and there is this package.json file, which says it is Cypress 4.0, which means it's the latest version that we have already installed within our project. 
All right, so now everything is over here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to run the existing test, which we have already done in this course, which is very, very simple. Just opening the application and we're going to see that, and you can see that we have used the alias to store the username and password from the fixture, this one. And then it is going to perform a PRC snapshot, which is going to be for the visual testing. And then it's going to uh, perform the clicking of the employee, which is nothing but Prashant over there and then it's going to perform a verification and then it's going to close the PRC snapshot from there that's it this is the only operation that it's going to do and we'll see how the test is going to execute in multiple browsers very very super simple demo this time all i'm going to do is i'm just going to do an npx cypress open so this way we can run the cypress dashboard and we'll see how we can list all the browsers which are currently available within my machine all right so now you can see that there is a browser and you can see that it by default it has threaded the edge 79 this time all these days you might have seen only the chrome browser being selected but this time this is edge browser guys which is pretty interesting for some reason i don't know why i couldn't see the firefox you can see that i have the firefox and developer edition and stuff but still it is not displayed in my machine i'm not sure about that but yes you can actually see the Firefox editions in Mac operating system if you have a Mac machine, but the browser is currently not shown in my machine as I told you earlier. So I'm just gonna run the test in the Chrome browser this time, just to make sure our existing tests are running in the Chrome browser without any problem. So you can see that it has opened and you can see that logo is currently a Chrome logo there. All right, you can see that the application has been loaded and it is performing the intended operation there. And it's running the PRC check and that's the reason it's taking a little bit time there. And again, it's taking the snapshot and it's sending to the PRC, that's it. So you can see that it performed all the operation for us in the Chrome browser, which is pretty much expected. We know how it works, so which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to close the Chrome browser this time and for the first time in the course and at least in the Cypress, we are going to run the test in the Edge browser. So if I run the same test on the Edge browser, so I'm just going to run the eaapp.spec.js and you can see that this time the logo is actually of the Microsoft Edge browser. So it's not Chrome anymore guys, you can see it is actually Microsoft Edge. So this is going to run the test on the Microsoft Edge browser this time. And you can see that it is currently visiting the website pretty much like how it did for the Chrome browser. And the same behavior, which is pretty awesome. Very interesting. You can see that Cypress is now supporting two engines altogether. So we know that already that Microsoft Edge Chrome is actually a Chromium project. So basically it is at a core, it's a Chromium rendering engine. So Chrome and Microsoft Edge Chrome are both same, so that's fine. But Firefox uses completely different engine and it is also being supported by Cypress. And Cypress team has also mentioned that they will be supporting the Safari and Internet Explorer pretty soon. They have that in the roadmap, but currently those two browsers are not supported, but these are the sub browsers currently being supported like Firefox, Edge, and then Chrome and Electron, which is pretty cool. So now that we can able to run the test from the Cypress dashboard, so I'm just going to close this guy. And now if I want to run them in a command line fashion, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do npx Cypress run of hyphen hyphen browser. And then I'm just going to run the edge browser. So if I just type the edge and if I hit enter, you can see that it is going to open the edge browser again, and then it is going to run the test for us. There you go. You can see that it is again running the test on the Edge browser for us. And you can see that it's currently running the test on the Edge 79 browser for running all those tests, which is pretty awesome. And similarly, it also runs the test on the Firefox and the Chrome browser if you have. But if I just, let me just stop this. As of now, I'm not running the test. So it's currently running our test in the headless mode. So I'm just gonna terminate it. So let's say if I want to run this in the Firefox browser, which is currently not detected by the Cypress installed in my machine. So let's say what error that we get. So you, it says that the browser Firefox was not found in your system. And it only says that the available browsers are like Chrome, Edge, Edge Dev, and Electron. 
So for some reason, the Firefox is not found. But yes, Cypress does support Firefox, as I already told you. So this is how we can actually run the cross-browser testing with Cypress. And this is the one that the team has mentioned here, like introducing the support for Cypress 4.0 with cross-browser testing. And there is the cross-browser testing guide, which is kind of very informative and it says some important stuff like whatever that we have discussed here is already there but also they have insisted a lot about the CI scheduling against production for Firefox so they now always say that there is a workflow along with how you specify the browsers and also you can specify the browser with the parallel option as well so if you come all the way down here you can see that it is currently in parallel execution mode and also the parallelism is two and the parallel execution is also supported by the firefox and the chrome and the edge chrome with cypress in the ci cd pipeline so we'll be talking about the parallel execution stuff in the ci cd pipeline in our upcoming videos but as of now this is how we can execute the cross browser testing with cypress with cypress 4.0 Pretty exciting and I hope you'll really enjoy the latest flavor of Cypress with the cross-process testing support. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.